all right so in this video we are going to be creating something very quick we are going to be building this amplifier effect and it's not going to take much of your time so if you can sit down and code along with me we are going to be building this with just html css and javascript so i'm going to start by creating a folder on my desktop and i'm going to call that folder amplifier So I'm going to go ahead and open this with Visual Studio Code. And I'll start by creating all my files. So my HTML5 text. And my CSS file. Then lastly, my JavaScript file. So for the HTML file, I'm just going to have a simple structure. So I'm going to put down my boilerplate, and I'm going to change this document to amplifier. So the title of the document, I'm going to change it to amplifier. Then for the body, I just want a div with the ID of container, and I'm going to put some spans in here. So I want eleven span. I'm just going to copy this 10 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I'm going to link my CSS file. And I'm also going to bring in my JavaScript file. So this is all what we need for the HTML. I'm going to launch this with Live Server. So if you don't have live server, live server is basically an extension in Visual Studio Code that's going to launch the development mode of your app on the browser. So it's going to constantly watch your files. So if you make any changes, it's going to reload the browser for you and that can speed up your work process so you can go ahead and install it. So I'm just going to click this go live button to launch live server. So this is what we have for now we're not seeing anything and that's because we don't have any file so i'm just going to share my screen and i'm just going to make this um smaller so i'll go to my css file and i want to start by getting rid of the default margin and padding that comes to html elements i'm going to say margin and i'm going to say zero padding and i'll set it to zero also then i also want box sizing to be set to border box and save then i'm going to grab the span so for the span i'm going to do um display inline block so i'm going to set display to inline block and i want a width of 50 pixel and a height a height of 200 pixel and a background image so i'm going to do background image and i'm going to set this to linear gradient so i'm going to pass in two x value for the argument the first one is going to be hash f b e 581 to give us this um yellow color and the second one is going to be hash c5 um three zero one seven to give us um a red color so if i save this this is what we are going to have right now then i'm going to come to the top and grab um the container so the deep container and i'm going to set the width to 600 pixel and the height to 400 pixel and for the background color i want a dark background so i'm going to do ash zero c zero c zero c to give us a dark color and i'm going to set the border radius to <laughs> border radius and i'm going to set this to 16 pixel so we have some round edges and I'm going to position this at the middle of the page using margin. So I'm going to set margin um, top and bottom 
to 5 rem and left and right to auto so if i fail it's going to position this at the middle of the page then i'm just going to position this pan with um flex box at the middle and i want it to be at the bottom actually so i'm going to use flex box for that so i'm going to say display flex and i'm going to do justify content to the center and align items to the to be at the end so if i save this is what we are going to get so if i make this bigger this is what it looks like and i'm just going to add a padding of one rem and save so the um this all we are going to do for the css for now so i'm going to come over to my javascript file so let's think of what we want to do we want to start by making all this pan have different colors then after doing that we want to keep on changing the height randomly so i'm going to start by grabbing all the spans so i'm going to say amps and i'm going to set this to document dot query selector all and i'm going to select by the um, element name so i'm just going to say span so to make these spans have different colors we need um a way of um getting different colors so i'm just going to bring an array of colors in so i'm going to say colors and i'm going to paste this array of colors i actually copied both the const from um the code i have here so i'm going to get rid of the const and leave just an array of colors and we want to look through this pan and set these pairs of colors to um the bagan image linear gradient of this pan so to do that i'm going to say um i'm going to create a dom content load event so when the html loads in the dom that function is going to run so i'm going to say document dot add event listener and we're going to be looking for a dump content load event and when that event loads i'm going to call a function called load colors so i'll come to the bottom and um declare that function so i'm going to say load colors and what we want to do is to look through the span so i'm going to say amps dot for each because this is returning a node list and can actually use for each for a node list so if you should log amps in the console inside this function you are going to get a node list and you can use you can iterate to a node list with for each method so i'm going to say for each so for each amp for each amp so amp for one so for each amp which is for each span I'm going to say the first thing I'm going to do is to look for a way to get random numbers and set that random number to get different index of this colors array. So it's going to um, return different pairs of color randomly. So I'm going to um, declare a variable and I'm going to call it color. And I'm going to set this to mat dot random. Then I'm going to multiply this by the length of um colors array to colors dot length. So mat dot random we return a value of zero and one by default. So if you want it to return a value of like let's say from zero to ten, you are going to multiply by ten. So, but I'm multiplying it by the length of this colors array. So it's going to return from zero to the length of the array. And I think the length of this array is um, 11 or 10. So I'm um, multiplying it by the length of the array. So I'm just going to log this in the console. So if I say um, colors, color, 
and open my console you see we are having different colors so i want to get rid of the decimal and the numbers after the decimal so to do that you can wrap this with uh, math.floor math.floor and if i save you see we are now um getting just um an integer not a floating um, number and we're having the maximum of 10. so the next thing i want to do is to set this to the index so i'm going to declare a variable and i'm going to call it amp color amp color and i'm going to set this to colors then i'm going to pass in color as the index so if i um log amp color instead so if i say amp color and save you can see we are getting different pairs of um different pairs of color for each amp so for each pan we are getting different pairs of color so the next thing we need to do is to split these colors so we'll be able to set it to linear gradient just like we did here in our css so i'm going to shame to this um colors and i'm going to say dot split i'm going to change split um the split method to it and i want to split by this comma here so i'm going to split by comma so if i save now you see we are getting an array of each color so what you can do is to set um the first argument to zero so we can say amp color and we are going to pass in the array index and pass in zero to access the first one and one to access the second one so i'm going to say amp dot style dot background image so we actually want background image right because that's what we have here background image and i'm going to set this to i'm not going to use back ticks then i'm going to set this to linear linear gradient so linear gradient and for the first argument i'm going to say amp color so amp color dot zero um not dot zero so array read the array um the array symbol and passing zero to get the first value of each color and i'm going to just do the comma thing. then for the second um argument i'm going to say amp color one i'm going to pass in one to get the second one so if i save you see we are having random colors now so immediately the dom loads this function is going to run so i'm just going to um remove this and close my console now the next thing we need to do is to next thing we need to do is to make um the height of each of these pan increase randomly and we also want the color to be changing as the height increases so to do that i'm going to come um um just after the um just before the inventory signal so we can do this just before the inventory signal and I'm going to um, declare a function and I'm going to call the function amplify. So, what do you want to do in this function? I want to first look through the amps, the um, node list we are getting from this amps variable. Then we'll look for a way to get a random color and set it to the height of this color then we also um, call this function constantly so let's do that so i'm going to start by looping through the uh amps variable so for each just like we did below so we're going to say amp so for each amp what do you want to do i'm going to declare a variable with let and i'm not going to call this function um, variable each for height and i'm going to set this to math dot random and i'm going to multiply this by 3000 
so if i if i set this to the height of each of these spans i'm going to say amp dot it's going to return a random number and we are setting it to the height of each span so i'm going to say dot style dot height and i'm going to use back ticks i'm going to say h then hard pick there then we want to look for a way to call the function repeatedly and we can do that in so many ways we can do that with set um, set interval but the best thing to do is to use request animation frame so i'm going to say request animation frame and the way this request animation frame works is that when this um we're going to call this function so when you say request animation frame so let me just explain i'm just going to pass in amplify ess and i'm going to call the amplify function so when this document loads when the browser reads the document to the bottom we're going to call this amplify function and when this amplify function runs we're going to call this request animation frame function and inside this request animation frame function, we are passing this amplify function as a callback. So it's going to constantly call this amplify function repeatedly at each point. So you can actually check um, MDN documentation if you want to know more about this for a clearer understanding. So if I save this, you see we are getting um, random numbers, and as you can see, this is very fast. So I want this to be a little bit slow. So to do that, mar.random returns um, 0 or 1 by default. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this in calibrations and I'm going to minus 0 0.9 and save. So if I'm minusing 0 0.9 multiplied by 3000, it's going to um, give me lower numbers randomly. So I want this to be most month so i'm going to come over to my css and i'm going to add a transition so i'm going to say transition all so once all and i'm going to do 0 0.3 seconds and i'm going to set it to ease so if i save you see we have this nice um random <laughs> So we are now generating a random number and setting it to the height. So we have this nice amplifier effect. So next, the next thing we want to do is to make the colors change at each point. So to do that, I can just call the load colors function here. So if I save, so we are now having different colors at each point. So this is all for this video, guys. So um within this short period of time we just created this nice amplifier and i hope you like this video if you like this video i want you to leave a like share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel um hit the subscribe button and you can use this for so many things so if you have like a music website you can actually integrate this so when a user plays the music inside the site you just have this nice amplifier going up and down you know just to create a better user experience or you can build a music player with javascript and just add this um this functionality to the music player to make it cool so all right guys thanks if you watched the end i appreciate and i'm going to see you next time in another video